Vlad Cazino îți aduce o enciclopedie de comedie. My, my name is Simon. Uh, oh. Simon is a bit weird name because it changes everywhere I go. See, when I go to England, they call me Simon. In Spain, they call me Simon. And my parents, they call me a mistake. Mm. It's not... Yeah, no, I'm half Swedish, half Spanish. One half finances the other one. It's really good. <laughs> uh, being half half is kind of nice because people come up to me and be like, "Oh, it's great because you get like the best of both worlds." You can get the worst too, because um, as a Swedish person, I cannot deal with confrontations, and as a Spanish person, I really, really love unemployment. It's, uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I'm ha I'm Spanish from my dad's side of the family. Um, you know how we have a bit of a weird relationship because you know like regular people call their parents like mom and dad, right? Well, I call my dad Ramon um, But his name is Angelo, so he doesn't like that um, Yeah, he raised me as a he was a single dad and I don't know if you know this But single parents they tend to take over like the role of both parents and my dad he went all in for it And I don't know how to put this but sucking on a hairy nipple is not fun yeah. <laughs> There's zero benefits. There's no milk and it's <coughs> the whole time. It's not... Yeah. No, I'm not uh, the smoothest in bed. I'm not really good in bed. Um, I'm like a 90s video game character because I have four moves and that's it. Um, and just like in the video game, I only use two, actually. It's not, not really good. Um, <laughs> I'm very vanilla in bed, like very vanilla. I was with this girl one time, you know, having the sex, and um, <laughs> and she was like into it for some reason, and, and she was like, oh, Simon, because that's my name. Um, so she was like, oh, Simon, tell me something dirty. I panicked. I was like, uh, my shower curtains. Uh, and she was like, no, something, you know, really dirty. I was like, have you seen my shower curtains? <laughs> but I'm, I'm really not smooth in bed. Like, this is how my ex used to describe having sex with me. She said, having sex with you is sort of like having sex with a smaller, more anxious, and less efficient dildo. Yeah, we broke up. Yeah, we broke up. Uh, well, she, she doubted me, but that doesn't matter. Um, because I knew the relationship was not going to last for three clear reasons. The first one is, I love laughing. Laughing is my favorite thing in the world, and she is German. Yeah. Laughing is not their highest priority in life. It's not... Yeah. <laughs> but, and the second reason is, um, she actually cheated on me with a dog trainer, which I found pretty ironic, because she hated doggy style. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> And the last and clearest sign of them all, the one who told me, okay, this relationship is not going to last, is that I am a Capricorn. And I don't know if you know anything about the horoscope, but if you do, you know that a Capricorn is not compatible with a psychopath. Usually, <laughs> it doesn't work, yeah. But I, but I am a firm believer in, in the horoscope. And if you're not, how do you explain this? My mom, she was a cancer, and she died. Oh, my God. It's pretty accurate, I would say. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> 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 you look no dead parents jokes. What? <laughs> you look Bulgarian, man. <laughs> Come on. Almost, yeah. Should I continue? Yeah. All right. So, so, so you know they say like laughter is the best medicine, right? Not if you have cancer. Then it's chemo. Um, you should ask my mom. You can't. She's dead. Oh so. <laughs> Bulgarian humor. <laughs> These dead mom jokes. They sometimes they really kill, but not as much. <laughs> But not as much as the cancer <laughs> killed my mom, you know, it's... Uh, not as much as the yeah. <laughs> so, sometimes when I do these jokes, I really, like, I dig my own grave. And deep too, but not as deep as my mom's grave, because she's dead, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming back strong. Yeah, no, but, like, I'm, I'm really not the smoothest in bed, as I was saying, because... And then you add the condom to that, like, it gets complicated. But I still use it, because, you know, kids are, are weird. But, you know, because... I don't know if you've observed a kid. Maybe you shouldn't observe a kid. Like, but, you know... <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah.
Wait, what, what was that? What happened? <laughs> I was having like this uh, FaceTime with my nephew the other day. They were too direct. And out of the blue, he was just like, Uncle, why are your teeth so crooked? And I was like, uh, why are you adopted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not, but you know, that'll teach him a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> No, man. But I, he's right, because I have crooked teeth. Uh, my, not like British crooked, but they're, they're pretty crooked. Um, but getting, like, I'm getting braces by the end of the year, and getting braces as an adult is sort of like investing in Bitcoin right now. <laughs> because it's too late, but you should still do it. You know, it's... Uh... <laughs> yeah, like, I inherited my teeth from my dad. He has the worst smile that you will ever see. Like, the way I describe my dad's teeth is like the boy band NSYNC because there's five of them, but only two are actually working. <laughs> that has been my time, guys. Thank you so much. A good comeback. Brody back, yeah. Vlad Casino te adus o enciclopedie de comedie.